Hey everyone, it's Lindy. Thanks a lot for joining me today. Welcome to Sir Padme. And today we are going to talk about Reiki. So this is like a part two Reiki video. And that's what we're discussing. So I did make a previous video talking about the benefits of receiving Reiki. Okay, and then I went into a little bit of the history on Reiki. So that is a good video to check out. Um, because Reiki is so great and I believe that everyone should be receiving it just because it helps balance our energy so much and it really makes life, um, you know, uh, just a lot better to live. It makes it easier. It takes, you know, the edge off, um, and can really help you grow and evolve as a person. So it's important we all receive it, but then there are a lot of benefits to also, uh, you know, learning Reiki and getting certified in Reiki yourself. Um, it is very diverse. You can use it for so many, many different things. Um, so we're going to get into that. And I just wanted to say to all my viewers that... I would love to post videos more often, um, but it is the winter time and I kind of, you know, am a little bit slower in the winter. And I've also really been working on some other mm, spiritual, like personal growth type stuff. Um, and so I've been really busy with that. And as some of you may know, you know, I have a family and I, I have a Reiki practice and then I have another business. So I am very busy, but also sometimes I'm not sure like who out there is actually watching my videos. You know, I kind of make these videos because I really feel a burning des desire to do so. Um, and it is just a form of creative expression. Um, but I also make my videos to find others out there like me and to assist people on their spiritual journey and educate them, um, you know, about some spiritual topics and things like this that I know about. Um, because now is the time um, to do that kind of stuff. So anyway, let's get into why it would, why, what are the benefits of practicing Reiki on others. So getting certified in Reiki yourself. Um, well, one of my favorite uh, reasons to practice Reiki yourself is since I started practicing Reiki and the more and more that I practice it, um, the more experienced I became on doing Reiki, um, the more intuitive I became. So it really opens up your intuitive abilities, whatever that might be for you, okay? And everyone is a little different. So a little while back, a few years ago, um, people looked at intuition a bit differently, okay? So it was really popular, the idea of psychics, okay? Psychics are clairvoyant and, you know, they can see visions, they may have premonitions and things like that. But we have started to figure out that that's just one form of intuition. So having visions, um, you know, and things like this, that is just one form of intuition. So basically, we have uh, five different types of intuition and some of us are stronger in certain ones than um, other areas okay so for example um, I myself I do consider myself somewhat clairvoyant okay but I would not say that is my strongest intuition extra sense that I have my my strongest one is uh, clear sentience okay so that's extra feeling okay so that's when people are really in tune with energy picking up on energy um, feeling things out reading people and things like this and since Reiki is energy balancing 
and energy healing, um, I thought Reiki would be a really good avenue for me to go down because I am so intuitive when it comes to energies and feelings. I am a very, very emotionally intelligent person, okay? Um, but I also have other ones uh, like clear cognizance, and that is just a very strong knowing. Um, but I do pick up a lot of visions uh, in my meditations, and I've had weird premonition type of experiences. Um, but since I started practicing Reiki, um, these got even stronger. And one time I had an experience not very long ago. I was, it was definitely not over a year ago. I think it was maybe about six months ago. I was driving over to a, a Reiki client's house and uh, she was very ill. Um, and so I came over to her house to do Reiki on her. And on the way over to her house, um, I got my first medium type experience happen to me. Um, so always in Reiki, you know, we ask for uh, assistance from spirit. We ask that spirit guides come forward and things like this. This elderly man that I really wasn't familiar with came forward on my way over to my client's house. And he kept coming up into my consciousness, just kind of popping up, making himself known on the way to her house. And I thought, wow, this is interesting. I wonder why this random person is just keeps popping in my head. Um, and then when I got to her house, I figured it out. Um, I kind of, I, I picked up that this was her de deceased father that had passed away 10 years ago. And so I brought forth the message. That's all he was there for was just for love and support of his sick daughter and to let her know that he was always watching over her um, behind the scenes and he really loved and cared about her and he was always watching her. And so it was just to carry a very loving message to my client because that's probably what she needed to hear and um, you know, that meant a lot to her. So I had never experienced anything like that before I got certified in Reiki. So every once in a while, things like this will happen. But also, um, you know, the more you practice Reiki, the veil starts thinning more and more for you. Okay, so you will be able to see into the spiritual realm a little bit more. It's easy, it becomes easier to access. So w after I got certified in Reiki and started practicing it, then when I would go into meditations, I would get a lot more visualizations, more uh, symbols and images started to come forward for me in my meditations. And a lot of spirit guides um, started to come forward. And that kind of contact started to pick up a lot for me after I got certified in Reiki, okay? Since Reiki is a spiritual practice, um, I just think it assists in your spiritual growth so much that it can really excel it into developing the ability um, to telepathically and empathically communicate with other beings out there. Um, and I have become very interested in that uh, aspect of my spirituality since I got certified in Reiki. It's all kind of coming together for me. Um, you know, all these little avenues and different mediums I have um, of getting my message out there and being ultimately of service to others. Um, you know, it's still all coming together, but it has been an amazing journey so far um, to get certified in Reiki and, you know, be more intuitive and have these spiritual experiences come easier. So that has been a huge benefit for me. Of course, I've been really, really happy that I found another avenue um, to assist others. Um, assisting people on their spiritual journey uh, is important to me. And so Reiki, of course, is just 
one way, one very powerful way that I can be of assistance to others, spiritually, um, emotionally, menta men mentally, and physically. Um, so it's very holistic. It's very holistic. And I definitely feel like I have started to feel more whole as a person since I've practiced Reiki. Um, and let's see here. Yeah, so I mentioned, I'm just looking at my notes. I always like to do that. It help, helps keep me on track. Um, yeah, I, you know, told you guys some stories on the mediumship, telepathy, all of that just really starts to amp up. Um, also connections with ascended masters that amps up as well. Um, so another great benefit of getting certified in Reiki I have found is you can keep incorporating other modalities into your Reiki practice and just keep growing um, with the amount of modalities you're certified in. So, you know, I've thought about adding even more onto my Reiki practice one than what I do already, but um, I started to incorporate crystals and crystal healing and with my Reiki uh, practices, um, I can use crystal grids to do Reiki healing at a distance. That's really cool. Um, and since I have become more intuitive and I'm starting to get more confident in my intuitive skills, I have started to do readings for people using cards. They're like lesson cards. They're not really tarot cards, the ones I use. Um, they're, I'll just show them to you guys here. They are these cards. Okay. So the soul's journey by James Von Prahn, Von Pra. Um, but it's a 44 card deck and it comes with a little guidebook and they're just little lesson cards. And actually, while I have this out, I think I'll just pull a card for you guys. And yeah, like this is not, I just got interested in this kind of stuff and started to do readings and on people and things like this and incorporate that in with my Reiki practice. Um, yeah, so let's pick a card here. Also, I just love um, these cards, the design. They're really pretty. Imagination. Imagination got pulled. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So this card is being pulled up because imagination is so important. Imagination really helps you tap in to higher aspects of yourself, believe it or not. And I think that you can incorporate a lot of imagination into Reiki and that what, what, that is what makes it so awesome and that's how imagination is connected to Reiki. Because, yeah, imagination fires up. My imagination has fired up a lot. So, I lost my place here. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, so you guys get in touch with your imagination. So, also another benefit is you learn how to apply Reiki to your daily life. Um, to help many situations or people. So there are Reiki symbols and little, mostly Reiki symbols that you learn and you can apply this to your daily life throughout the day. You can do Reiki on objects, on people, on places. Um, it can help assist people into the afterlife. It can help assist animals. You can do Reiki on animals. Some people just get certified to help their animals. Um, some people get certified in Reiki to do it on homes. And, like I've known real estate brokers who have gotten certified in Reiki to you know clear the energy and amp up the energy of a home. Um, you know, it can really assist just 
it's beneficial. It's really beneficial to use in your daily life. And your vibration raises. Your vibration totally raises the more you are doing Reiki. So, you know, uh, obviously my viewers are interested in spirituality and spiritual growth. Well, Reiki will assist in this and it will assist to raise your vibration. Um, you can do Reiki on yourself. If you learn how to do Reiki, it's not just to help other people. You can help yourself and heal yourself, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, what else? Yeah, you also build a lot of confidence. The more you practice Reiki, the more you build confidence that it works and the more you see how powerful it is. So your confidence goes up in Reiki the more you practice it and you start to realize how diverse it is, how you can incorporate it with so many other modalities and how just in tune, it's like really pulling in light and divine wisdom, okay? It's really pulling that in um, and harnessing it here in this third dimension and really pulling that in for people. If you're doing it on people, it really is bringing in divine wisdom, divine love and things like this. So um, uh, then of course it does assist in raising your vibration just very naturally. Um, and oh, so another benefit too is like I said, you know, your your intuition, your your extra senses really start amping up. Um, so another benefit to that is you may start to see auras, um, you know, and the different types of intuition, the the ones that you are strongest in is going to be how you perceive auras. So it's not anymore just seeing colors in an aura around someone, you know. Um, now, if you are more clairvoyant, you probably will see colors in people's auras. But for me, since I'm more clairsentient and I feel and pick up the energy and, and emotions and things like this, I really get a strong, clear cognizance, so a, a clear knowing of what colors are in people's auras. And sometimes I can see like a really fine, uh, it almost looks like a heat wave, like radi radiating off people. I can see that if I really focus on their aura. Um, but then at the same time, so if I'm like asking, uh, my higher self, what the, what someone's color or a color is a, a clear cognizance. Like it's like, I hear the color in my head. So I see the color with my third eye. Um, that's how I perceive auras. And I learned how to do that by practicing Reiki. Okay, so I like a, a color will just come to me immediately like, oh, this person has a green um, indigo aura or sometimes like all different colors, you know, and then based on the colors, I can figure out then uh, I'm also feeling the energy and put two and two together and I can really read people's auras that way. So pretty awesome stuff, guys. And I would just like to uh, finish off this video. Lastly, I want to say that you really do become part of a loving, some supporting spiritual community. Um, if, especially if you're going into using, like practicing Reiki as a profession and you really want to take it seriously like that and really assist people in the healing process using Reiki, then um, the community, at least where I live, is very loving and supporting. And it's not like competitive. Um, even though technically we are kind of competing, but like there's not that energy to it. It's just really supportive and loving. And we all just want my fellow um, healers and, you know, people who are into healing arts and intuitives and things like this, we just all support each other and want to see each other thrive and be successful in our field. So I've really felt that. 
and I'm really thankful for that. So those are my reasons of why um, or how Reiki has been beneficial for me to practice. Um, so as you can see, I've gotten a lot of benefits um, getting certified in Reiki. One last thing. Um, oh, yeah, no, I'm not done with you guys yet. I hope you don't mind sticking around for just a couple more minutes. Um, I wanted to share with you guys, too, that with Reiki, it's fun because you can get all kinds of tools to assist you doing Reiki on people. Um, so this is like a really cool selenite wand that I use on people. So this is an energy tool that I use. And then also I use this, I use pendulums as well in my Reiki practice. And this is like a really beautiful pendulum. It's got a Markaba, is that? Yeah, Markaba. Um, and it's amethyst. And it's just really fun to use other spiritual uh, energy tools as well with, with the Reiki. So that's really cool. And then one last thing I want to say is if you do, if, if my video today convinced you that you do want to start... Um, learning Reiki and you know you basically um, can get certified in level one and then level two and work your way up to the master level um, but I would highly recommend that you find someone in your area um, to learn Reiki from um, and you I mean you can go get a degree in college certified in Reiki and holistic health with an emphasis in Reiki um, there are people in the community that practice Reiki for a living and they teach Reiki. So, you know, there's people out there you can learn it from. And I would suggest that versus taking an online course. The online courses are probably really helpful and things like this. But Reiki, since it is so ancient and sacred, ceremony and getting attuned getting attuned physically I feel is just really awesome and an experience I'm really happy I I learned Reiki that way I'm really happy that I learned it from a mentor that lives in my area that has taught me a lot and someone I really built um you know a face-to-face -face connection with I I value that so you can get certified in Reiki online and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I personally am really happy that I did it um, just, you know, physically took the class and um, it was really special and I'm really happy I did it that way. So that's it. If you guys have any further questions, just feel free to ask in the comment section and I would love to hear from my viewers. I really would love to hear from you guys. I'm always happy to. And um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Um, I would really love if you did that. And um, go check out some of my other videos. I have videos on all kinds of spiritual topics. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.